I, you know, when you're at first and Jerry's at home, are you do you kind of break down his game a little bit or what he's doing, or do you take anything away from him for how from how he controls the game, and or do you offer advice to him? Uh, it, it goes both ways for both of us. We um, I mean we work good together. Mm -hmm. He's been here um, for a while now. Um, and you're and a so, super senior. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been here for even longer. <laughs> so um, we, we've known each other for a while, and um, we're both here for the team. So if we see something with um, that can help the other guy out or that something that the other guy's doing that can help us out, you know, we, we give and take. But um, it is it is a different perspective uh, at first base, seeing him catching um, rather than in the dugout. Right. And, uh, I don't know. We haven't been able to had a chance to do it so far this year, but um, I know he likes to throw at, as a catcher. You gotta love back picks, right? So hopefully we get a couple of those when I'm at first base this year. That'd be great to see yeah. catcher to catcher. Yeah. <laughs> Another couple names, you know, uh, we have Elliot Surrey, freshman, and Andrew Morales, who's also a junior transfer on the mound. Um, you know, you've caught both. Mm -hmm. Break down those guys for us. Um, you said Elliot Surrey first. He's um, really impressed uh, everybody um, and I don't see how he couldn't he he's been a big part of the the, the staff so far um, throwing a lot of innings for us and he's just I mean he has confidence in himself he just uh, mixes pitches really well spots up with his fastball and just throws strikes I feel like sometimes with uh, with freshmen they come in the game and they they try to press too much they try to be too perfect with their pitches um, and end up being a little wild, little walk some guys and stuff, but he hasn't done that. Um, I heard he's really cerebral. Is he like a Francis Larson guy? I haven't gotten that from him. Oh, okay. Um, so he's just dumb. No, I'm kidding. No, hey, <laughs> I'm we kidding didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I mean, I haven't, I, mean, I don't, not down there while they're working too much with okay. all that stuff, and when I talk to him, he always seems to be pretty quiet. Okay. Um, but I've seen him open it up a few times, and he can be pretty funny. Um, that's good to know. He's, uh, <laughs> he, he likes uh, something a little different about him. Uh, we saw him. He likes his uh, rap music, as you can see from his walkout song. Yes. And uh, when when we had the little sign-up sheet for our walkout songs in the clubhouse and he wrote that down, um, someone told him, you know, play it. And he sits there and plays it on the radio that we have <laughs> and starts rapping the first verse, like, <laughs> full out. It was hilarious. But, um, I mean, that he feels comfortable with us. Um, comes back with, like I said, with... Dominique and all those guys, we, we fit together um, really good this year. The team chemistry is really good, and um, I think that again that that it helps him have confidence on the mound. Um, and then same thing with Morales, um, he's rooming with or living with two really good pitchers this year. He's okay. with Thurman and Whitehouse. Okay. So hopefully uh, they oh. rub off on him a little bit, um, and he's been good for us so far. I think the first start or not his first start, his first appearance. He was a little excited. Right. Um, you know, and Emily, his little mm -hmm. sister, you know, throughout the first pitch of that game, so maybe a little bit emotional, maybe. Yeah, definitely. But uh, he he threw well, but I think he was, he was like I said, a little too excited. Uh, left a couple pitches over the middle. Mm -hmm. and uh, But ever since then, he's been it's been really good for us. Um, well, him. he's dominating his house right now. He's 3-0. <laughs> <laughs> like Andrew and Matt make her catch up. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, he's... Him and Surrey, both of them have command of all their pitches. Um, four pitch mix, which is really good. Um, and yeah, we've, we've been impressed with both of them. Now, do you handle them differently because they are new to the Division One game, you know, as opposed to Thurman and Whitehouse? Or you know, do you counsel the, counsel the newcomers in a different way? Do you give more advice? How do you, ha how do you handle them when you're catching them? With those guys, I try and at the beginning, really, I think so far it's just been, you know, getting them to control their emotion. Um, when I go out to the mound, you know, they come into the game, Danny gives them the ball and tells them, you know, this this guy's coming up, this is what we're going to try and work with him. And he walks away, I try and sit there and say, hey, just have some fun, This is it's a game, mm -hmm. uh, don't press too much. When it's the other guys, the more veteran guys, you know, I don't, yeah, they've been through it, yeah. That, yeah. I, you know, I kind of, if there's something else I see from them, you know, I'll, if not, I just kind of let them go do their own thing. So with the uh, with the new guys, it's more just getting them to to calm down, relax, and uh, have fun. I mean, that's that's the biggest part. What's been your impression of Danny Babona as the pitching coach? I mean, he's a pretty calm guy, mm -hmm. and that must translate over when he works with the pitchers. Yeah, he's. Um, I think he's been really good for the pitchers. Um, coach Dietrich last year. I mean, 
they're a little bit of different styles, but um, both of them, I think, work with pitchers really well. I think the pitchers can relate a lot more to Danny. He's a lot younger. Mm -hmm. um, he played here, mm -hmm. knows the, the way we do things around here. And, uh, I mean, some of the older guys, when they were coming in, um, watching, you know, getting recruited, they saw him Friday, every Friday night right. pitching. I mean, legit. Yeah, and <laughs> some of us even played with them. Right. So, <laughs> I mean, it. Is it's, that weird for you? Because now you know, you have someone you played with is technically your coach. Maybe not your coach, but you know, a coach on the staff. Not, too, not really. I mean, I, I respect him. He, he's, uh, he knows the game. Um, he knows more than me. He's been through uh, a lot more than I have. Um, and I mean, before that, I mean, we even had Eric Derrigish. I played with him. Right. And he's been here for coaching for what three years now, something right. like that. So. <laughs> It's not. That's not too big of a difference. It, it, I feel like it's been an easy transition for for me and the guys that played with them, um, as well as for them. I want to talk specifically about the Sunday game because it was gusty. I mean, twenty miles an hour. You know, you got up. You got uh, the team got up early on the Golden Bears, so not a lot, lot of running by Cal. Mm -hmm. But when you're working in wind like that, how difficult is it to you know get a guy out at second or you know or back pick you know when you're facing wind like that. Um, As a catcher. It, it's, I don't think it's too bad because, you know, at least for like a back pick or something like that, the throw's not too far. Okay. Um, down to second base, the, the wind was pretty much howling right in my face. Right. So, you know, I, I try and keep it low, uh, get good backspin on the ball. Hopefully it, it breaks through the wind. Um, and, I mean, in between innings, I was I was working it, and I feel like it was uh, pretty good. Um, but, yeah, like you said, they didn't, they didn't run on me. Yep. Um, it's kind of disappointed. I don't want to give it a chance. Then I'll see if I can get it through that win. But uh, oh, we gotta get your numbers up too. <laughs> <I know. laughs> they haven't run a lot on you. <laughs> they they obviously got the memo. <laughs> uh, the team has LMU and Portland coming up this week. LMU is four, three and four, but they took a game off. Number fourteen Oregon. Um, do you see this first road game as a tough test for the Ant Eaters? Um, I know we've been we've been uh, Coach Gillespie's been posting scores and stuff on the in the clubhouse on the board for us, and um, I mean, we've been watching LMU and they've been playing well. We know they're they're going to be a good team, um, as is anyone on the the West Coast. I feel like mm -hmm. we're all uh, battling, but um, I don't think uh, just being on the road is really going to affect us. It's just down the road. Okay. It's not like we're going to be. Um, leaving the day before, staying in a hotel, you know, all that stuff. It's it's close enough, and um, I think it'll be fun getting away. Uh, they have a fun field with that that big uh, big fence, right? Big short porch in left field. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I think it'll be fun. Uh, you also face Portland this weekend. Now they're off to a rough start, two and six, but they play in Oregon midweek before flying down to Orange County. When you face a team that's struggling early on, does that Register with you with the team at all. You know, what do you need to do to kind of play at the level you're playing and not play at the level they're playing? Um, yeah, it, it's it can be difficult sometimes. Um, you know, you see a team like that that might not be that we can see is struggling a little bit. But um, even it's I feel like it's the same way as if you are playing a team that is hot and uh, is really uh, on fire. You know, you, you got to play your game. You can't play into what they're, what's going on with them. Um, so we got to stay within ourselves, do um, the things we know we have to do to win, where it comes back to, like we were talking about earlier, the freebie battle. we got to win that, um, and we can't take any anybody we play lightly. Well, Ronnie, um, thanks for joining us on, on the show. Baseball's off to a great start, and we really look forward to, see, to watching you guys and how the rest of the season shakes out. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, Eater Nation, the baseball team, plays this weekend against Portland, a talented team that I think has the potential to go pretty far this year. Uh, that was Ronnie Schaefer, super senior, catcher on the baseball team, and we'll be right back with Mark Roberts to talk more about baseball and men's basketball. You're listening to KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine.